YouTube, Big G back again with another video. It's Sunday afternoon and I felt like playing uh, a game on one of my older systems and I felt like playing a shooter, you know, a really good shooter. And sometimes it's, you know, you're just in that mood for a good shooter. And uh, I had a look around and thought, okay, now which, which system should I play? And uh, at the corner of my eye I saw my Atari ST and thought, you know, why not? It's a great gaming machine. I haven't featured it in any of my uh, gameplay videos yet. So I thought, yes, brushed it off, got the Atari ST out, and loaded up two great shooters for you. Now, there are a couple of channels that I enjoy watching on, on YouTube that feature the Atari ST. And uh, the one, Infected Flinch, he does a couple of uh, Atari ST uh, gameplays, as well as The Joy of Sticks by The Stickman, whose site is dedicated sl uh, solely to the Atari ST. Um, so yeah, and the two games that I'm going to be playing is going to be Xenon, a great shooter map from the Bitmap Brothers, actually a classic, I think it's one of the better shooter maps on the actual system, and, and a great all-round shooter on all the platforms, the 16-bit platforms, uh, as well as Silkworm. Uh, it may not be the best version of Silkworm on a 16-bit system, but still a great port of the great um, arcade game, and I enjoyed playing that back in the arcades. So guys, yeah, let's, let's have a good old shooter map. Get the old uh, joystick out and uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, Xenon, I've booted it up and uh, yeah, great game from the Bitmap Brothers. I mean, look at those graphics, absolutely gorgeous, and the sound, fantastic. Hit the fire button, ah, let's get into the game. Uh, shooter maps is not my strongest suit. I love that bit of digitized voiceover. But this is a great shooter map. I mean, you can. You know, at the moment, I've got it in the uh, flying mode, but otherwise, you can also drop down lower so you can get enemies on the ground. I'll show you now how I do that just by hitting the space button. And then, as you can see, I'm a little tank on the ground now. And obviously the name of the game here is uh, shoot the enemies, pick up the power-ups. Ah, here we are, back up again. One thing you don't realize is how sore your arm gets from playing uh, using a joystick. Using a mouse really makes you lazy. Especially these great old Spectre Video joysticks. I must mean, say, it was so smooth, absolutely smooth. Ah, come on. Let's see if I can at least get to the boss level. I had a look on the net to see if I could find any cheats for this. It was not successful. One of those games that doesn't give you a continue function, so you've got to really have lightning reflexes to get far. And as you can see now, it's starting to slow down slightly as my weapons are building up. And uh, I've got now rockets as well as my normal. I can do major, major damage now. I think I'm coming close to the uh, boss level. What a great shooter. Ah, uh, it forces me to be... Okay. I've got to be on the ground. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If I remember correctly, you should try stand in one spot and then draw this tank. Uh, it's like trying to play cat and mouse. Ah, got me. Oh, well, I still got another two lives, so let's see how I do. Back up again. Those damn little things will follow you around all over the place until you actually shoot them. Bit of slow down again when the screen starts getting busy, but it doesn't affect gameplay. It actually assists you slightly. Uh, I 
And you know, I enjoy playing this on the actual, I don't like emulators, it's playing on the original hardware using the original stiffies, loading it up, and enjoying it the way it's supposed to be. Come on, I've got to get this bit fast now. Go again. One more life. Come on, let's see if I can do it. As I said, I'd like to get the cheats so that I can get in front of lives or become invulnerable. Just so that I can see some of the later stages. Oh well. Xenon by the Bitmap Brothers. What a great shooter. Fantastic. I really enjoyed that. And uh, definitely a benchmark on the system for shooters. And uh, you know, if you do a bit of read up around it, uh, you'll see that it is highly recommended um, as one of the greatest shooters on the Atari SD. Okay, let's get going. Let's uh, boot up uh, the next one. Okay, I've loaded up Silkworm. And uh, let me just push the fire button. There we are, push the fire button, and we're straight into the action. Now this is a, you can play this as a two-player game, but uh, obviously, yeah, I'm only playing it as the helicopter, but otherwise you could get a mate of yours to join in and play a two-player game, which makes it a lot of fun as well. I enjoy the collaborative games. Graphics not quite as good as uh, Xenon's, but for a shooter, good enough, definitely good enough and uh, nice and smooth fast I like that I mean the arcade game was always nice and quick ah come on come on let me at least try to get to a boss stage Pounding, right? Lost another life. Come on, die. Got ya. Alright, there's my twin cannons. There we are. Always great in these games to pack a little bit more firepower. And talk about the boss stages. Got ya. Ah, got a bonus. Okay. Game over. Overall, not a bad shooter. And you get a continue as well. And I'm going to continue on, but otherwise I thought that was pretty good. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Xenon as well as Silkworm on the Atari ST. I'm playing on this, the plain basic Atari ST. Um, the 512K version, uh, playing it off stiffies. Uh, I thought they were both great shooters and I thoroughly enjoyed that. I think they are definitely worth a mention. And if you have the, the yearning to have a, a good shoot em up, Go for it. Try an Atari SD game for a change. Let's, you know, mix it up a little bit. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers from me.